right, we're back at Walmart in Bristol. Haven't been here in a few days. Let's go in, see if they got anything new. Alrighty, back in Walmart. We've got our Coronation Star Screams, Transformers. All kinds of stuff through there. Not sure what's new in the world of Transformers. So we've got some storage shell turtles. Got Donatello. Michelangelo. We've got Mikey in disguise. We've got Shredder here. He's falling off the pig. Uh, Shredders. We've got Leo in disguise. So all but Triceraton. Oh, here's the pizza tossing turtle. So there's Raph, Mike, Mike, Leo. So we've got that. We have our dinosaurs. Take a look at all this. Let's go ahead and check out the video game aisle behind us here. Well, I got a few Pokemon card sets. I got a Botanical Lego. Don't see any of the Nintendo figures. Those pegs are empty, but I got some Mario, some Among Us, some Sonic, got some Motu hanging out up top. And back over here, we got some legends. We got Siren, Vulcan, Siren, Darwin, Nokia, and Maggot. And let's see what else we got. Also looking over clearance, there's a bunch of multiverse. What we got up here? Uh, John Kent, John Kent, King Shazam, John Kent, King Shazam, the Penguin, John Kent. And we got some more here in front of us. What do they got here on clearance? Training visor, eradicators. Let's took out clearance tags for eradicator and vampire Batman. Let's see what we've got. We got a demon, Martian manhunter. Let's take a look at that one. I took a look at bigger there. And then we've got the demon, King Shazam, another Martian manhunter, another demon. We got John Kent, Deathstorm, Batman, and Deathstorm. Got another Batman and one where someone's tore into the Pokemon cards and a Superman Blackest Night. Well, we got some more legends. We got He Who Remains, Scarlet Witch, Jimmy Woo, Classic Loki, and Red Skull. So they got the Wave, Howard the Duck, unless they got him down here somewhere. Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man. We got some page punchers. We got Batman, Superman, Batman, Superman. Oh, we got some light year on clearance. Dungeons and Dragon, Dragon. More Dungeons and Dragons. Still not clearance yet. Where's my Batman? No, oh, down there he is. He's hiding. Okay. Let's go back over here and look for this for a second. Got our Beyblades, Bakugan, plushies, some Power Rangers guns or something there. Let's see what we got in G.I. Joe. Lady J. All Lady J's. Okay. Wrestlers, some superstars up there, the ones that have usually been seen. We'll go through the AEWs, see if they might have any of the rare ones that I'm aware of, anyways. And before we get to those multiverse, we got Wonder Woman, several Wonder Womans, Green Lantern, we got Batman Who Laughs, Deathstroke, Dark Sun, Deathstroke. Green Lanterns, Green Lanterns, more Deathstroke and Green Lantern, and there's Nightwing, so they don't have the Flash. Alright, let's go down here and get my buddy, see what he's going to say to me this morning. I am Batman. Oh, he said the best one right off the bat. No pun intended. They got Aquaman, Aquaman, I got Dark Detective. Duke Thomas, Duke Thomas, Dark Detective, Duke Thomas, and John Kent. So none of the new McFarlane's yet. This is Spin Master. Back over here we got our G.I. Joe classified movie figures. 
looking at Star Wars, a few WWE. Who we got here in AEW? Powerhouse Hobbs. Looks like about the same ones. Brian Cage, Stu Grayson, Santana, Nyla Rose. And they don't have any outsiders or Shawn Michaels yet, do they? Not yet. Okay. Lessons up there. I'm not going to get up there and go through all those. Let's see if we can just migrate over to. Ooh, never mind. I see some shippers. Let's go take a look at those shippers and I'll be right back. All right. Let's check out Lego. Unfortunately, I went and looked at all those shipping boxes and no McFarlane. No action figures of any kind, really. It's mostly water guns and warm weather toys are starting to stock up on. There's the birdhouse. Is that three, one, four, five? Oh, yeah, one of the birdhouses up there. And look at the motorcycle there, the three in one set. Look at the cozy house, the dogs. Most of the June 1st, not June 1st, Lord, I'm losing time here. Most of the March 1st sets. Got our Mario's. I'm not seeing anything different in any of these. Let's take a look. I see some roll bags there, but empty peg. If you're not empty pegs, empty shelf space. Let's see if we got anything clearanced on Lego. So we got there some Jago, some Avatar. I got the Bat Cycle there. The Quinjet. Uh, got a random Hot Wheel there. It's like a motorcycle. Speed champion though, they got a bunch of the Too Fast, Too Furious Nissan there. I've been seeing the motorcycle Technic sets coming back around. I guess there was a reissue, a re-release, or they found a shipping crate full of them or something, but and our usual stuff in superheroes. I've got to get this thing eventually. I hope Buster's awesome. And we got our flower bouquet and botanical. All right, we're going to check out diecast and in the collector section. If I see anything, I'll film. If not, I'll see you the next. All right, collector section. We have had a restock here. Let's look. They've got two of the unarmored last Ronins. We still got some mummy. Still got some ultimate shredders. Three of those. Got our battle damage predator down there, Batman mask. What do they got? These multiverse. Oh, that thing not got a clearance tag. Fifteen dollars still. Oh, we got Spyro, all kinds of Avatar best action. I'm not seeing any best action turtles, but again, they got that's all jumbled up. I'm not even going to try to dig through that for something I really don't buy. It's still got that clay face down there. They got that Wolverine Q-Fig back in there. Clearance $15, but I'll take a look at that thing one day. And it just, 15 bucks? I don't think so. There's Elliot and E.T. E.T. Pops. And I filmed a short from this Walmart the other day. They had several of those Funko Soda, those soda can things here. And they are all gone now. Someone cleared those things out. Unless they're hiding behind Britney Spears. Nope. Alright, didn't film the die cast as you probably already figured out. They had nothing new there. And got a couple of new things here in the um, collectible section. Got the last Ronins at least. That's going to do it for this Walmart. i probably hit Target later today. So I will see you there. Alright, let's go check out Target. I just have a feeling they're going to have some new McFarlane. All right, let's see what we got in Target. And, well, I mentioned having a gut feeling they restocked. I don't think they have. They may have gotten some Blackest Night figures here, but that's it. None of the new stuff had just come out. So that's disappointing. Still got two Aquaman. They finally sold their big figs there. They had a Adam Smasher. Uh, Transformers, we'll take a look there. Got some Galvatron. Optimus Bumblebee. 
Indiana Jones stuff. Let's see, he got that and got his whip. Does he say anything or do anything here? Not for sure, but I guess that's some different stuff. That's me Indiana Jones. Ah, uh, G.I. Joe, still got Recondos. This Python Patrol. Same reactions. This looks different. Some Power Ranger stuff, all the same thing there. Alright, we got some Stunt Squad. What is this? Then there's uh, some camp going at him there. Looks like a makeshift Avengers Tower. That's different. I don't think we've seen those before. 23 bucks. What else have we got? Anything new in Marvel? I think that Venom looks awesome. 22 bucks for that as well. Spider-Man vs. Venom. What else we got? Venom, Miles Morales vs. Carnage. I can't really get to it. Let's take these off and look at that one. Miles Morales looks pretty good, but Carnage leaves a little, little to be desired on that one, I think. Alright. Oh, look at this. We do have something new. The Ghost Rider Marvel Legends, three and three quarter. That's pretty cool. Take a better look at that one. It's got the price tag here turned around backwards. I'm not sure how much it is, but very cool. Very, very cool to see that. That's the first new three and three quarter Marvel thing I've seen in forever. And we got our normal Beyblades and all that. Not exactly sure what all that is. Let's see. We got our Pokemon. Let's check out what we got. Well, some people were on that aisle. Had they restocked anything in wrestling? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see what they've got. AEW. Oh, Frankie Kazarian, Evil Uno, Anna J. Nothing different there. Still got all. Oh, they got these on sale now. Some Fury Officers and Shore Troopers down to 1854. You Star Wars collectors, let me know if it's a good price or not. That Boba Fett is gone. You mean, tell me they sold those $34 Boba Fetts? What I've seen online, no one's really buying those. Even then, too bad. They had the new He-Man here. You know, the green sword and the blue pants. The other day, they must have sold the restock they got on him. And we got our dinos. I bet the same stuff they had the last time I was here for Jurassic Park World, whatever. Here we got the Mario thing, Mario Kart set from the movie. Bowser, I'll have to buy that Bowser eventually. How much is he? 30 bucks. I do like the Bowser. I saw some of the Mario movie figs over there as well, but couldn't get to them. I see Luigi and Mario and Toad there in the figs. I'm sure they got a peach in there somewhere. Uh, we got the big figures there, Mario and Luigi still. And let's see what we've got here on Hot Wheels. Doesn't look like really anything different. Uh, let's take a look at the theme cars down through here and see what they've got. We've got our Batmobiles. I'm pretty sure I've got, yeah, I've got this series. That's the one we bought here a while back. Uh, we still got our usual Mario Karts. Uh, I got the Justice League Batmobile there. Got a bunch of monster trucks. These mutter things are kind of cool. Almost looks like a rust. Oh, look at this thing. Got the Bigfoot and you got the V8 Bomber. It's kind of cool looking. Just made a mess of everything. There we go. I got some Justice League monster trucks there. Joker, Wonder Woman, Superman, Flash, and Batman. There's the big Batman truck. 
what else we got here? Okay. All right, let's walk down and check out Lego. You got end cap there, the same stuff they had last time, and I'm sure this is going to be much of the same as well. Mario sets, Jurassic Parks, Mario's Minecraft. Harry Potter. Let's see what we got over here on our. There's the bat cycle. Still got Bowser. Technic cars. Let's see. Fifteen ninety nine for Dom's Charger. The rail tracks and the Kuntosh. Still got the little Technic dump truck. Got Holiday Main Street. Got our botanicals, bonsai tree. The Lunar Lander. The Lunar Lander is an awesome set for anyone who's not purchased or built it. We got some more monster trucks here on the end. And we got our Harry Potter, Star Wars, and what we got on the end cap. There's the new Speed Champions. More bonsai, more floral. Technic in the room of requirement. Alright, let's try to get back down the action figure aisle and finish it up. Alright, collector section. E.T. and Radioactive Man down there. Neutrinos, Zack and Smash. We got Pan's Labyrinth, King Kong, Predator, Gremlins. We got something over in behind there, an Alf. Uh, Renee is still the only comic turtle we got. Annabelle. Let's see what we've got in here. So I guys, I'm going to turn my hands up. Pan's Labyrinth. I think that's new from last time, and these are trying to fall off. King Kong. Is there anything in behind these? The Predator Jungle Hunters I had the other day. Got our pops, Miss Marble, Electra still. Not seeing too much new. Godzilla. Still got Green Arrow and Justice. Scarecrow there, the multiverse back here. Still got one of these turtles. Still got Raph and the same best actions they've had no batman justice league pop the 66 batman figures okay then our usual anime stuff down through here all right let's take a look down here this little section just to make sure they don't have clearance anything we want, namely the Batman art, which I see they did sell a set of. Got your Pokemon cards here still. Still the Minecraft sets I had here the other day. We're down to three Batman arts still for 119 bucks. Surprisingly, that dropped the price of any, which I'm surprised they sold in the Batman art. I've got some more overflow back here now. Oh, look, some Technic poly bags, that little end loader there is kind of cool. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for the collectible slash, I guess, overflow toy aisle. Well, let's just see what they got over here, just to make sure. All right, don't see anything else over here. This is going to wrap us up for this section. I'm going to try to get back down that one side of the action figures. Look, like they have some more of the Mario movie figures there. We're going to look at if I see anything. We will record. If not, I'll see you for the wrap up. All right, just to wrap up, hey, we got a war machine. 
Gujitsu. That's kind of cool. We didn't get down this side of the action figure aisle. We got the big Yoshi there in the mini scale castle from the Mario Brothers movie. And there's our Toad, her Princess Peach figure. So they got all of them here today. They got Bowser, Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Peach. Honestly, I would like to get those, but 20 bucks a piece. You have 80 bucks in those four plus another 30. You have 110 dollars. So that looks like it's going to wrap us up. I'll make my final selections and then we will close this one out. All right, everybody, let's wrap up today's toy hunt. You probably notice I'm not sitting in the cab of my truck like I usually am after wrapping these up. Reason being, I went to Walmart and Target, but I also got a couple of things in that I pre-ordered offline a while back, and plus an eBay purchase I wanted to show. So I wanted to wait till I got home where I can show everything in one video. But you saw me today in Walmart and Target in Bristol. Walmart didn't really see anything much in there, didn't pick anything up. Uh, Target, we did go in and saw some stuff in Target. They had the Indiana Jones toys there, the, you know, the 10 or 12 inch figure, and then the bullwhip. Very tempted to buy that bullwhip, but spoiler alert, did not buy it. Uh, we also saw the Ghost Rider, Marvel 3 and 3 quarter um, Marvel Legends figure. I knew that was coming out. I seen on Hasbro's website. Didn't know that would be hitting stores yet, so it was cool to see that there. Um, they didn't have anything else new in Marvel Legends, but they did have that. But we did pick some things up in Target, so let's get to looking at what we got there. First thing I picked up is a little Technic Excavator, as Potty Bag said. I think this thing's like $4.99 or whatever it was. I saw this on their website several times and started to buy the thing. Never did. Mostly because the website always said that the Bristol store had this thing in stock. And then I would go to the Bristol store, and for the longest time, you couldn't find any Potty Bags there. But don't know if they finally found these in a box on the back or whatever and put it out. But like I said, they had this out, so we did pick up the Technic Excavator. What is it? 69 pieces. Second thing, you probably already guessed what it is that I picked up, especially my reaction when I found the video. We did get the Ghost Rider, Marvel Legends 3 and 3 quarter figure. Now, this thing, just it looks great. It's got a little crease here on the top. That's the only thing that really detracts from it, but it's the only one they had. I hadn't seen this anywhere else yet. Couldn't leave it sitting there. Now, my only negative to this, I don't like the windowless packaging. I want to be able to see the figure. I mean, it's got a picture of it out here and a picture on the back. Let's actually show the back in case anyone wants to read the little card there, but... Like this is the Johnny Blaze, the 70s version of Ghost Rider. Very cool looking. So glad to pick this thing up as well today. As far as our in-store pickups, that is it. The next thing I'm going to show, I picked up from eBay for a pretty good price because I am addicted to Walmart exclusive figures. I did see this in the stores one time and didn't pick it up. But I picked up Dark Flash from eBay. Got a good price on this thing. I paid a little bit over retail, but not a lot. Again, these Walmart exclusive McFarlane's are kind of becoming an addiction, so I had a chance to pick it up. And I figure with the Flash movie coming out, if those figures pick up in popularity, this thing is going to skyrocket and it'll be harder to pick up later. But you can see the sides of it there. The speed metals. We did pick up the gold label Flash. Now, the last thing I got was a pre-order I had made from Target when this thing was first released and it finally came in. But we got the 12-inch hush batman pose statue i'm trying to keep all the glare off the screen here when i'm holding it to the side but we did get this thing in today it did come in in very good condition target had it packaged very well there's your arc on the back of batman and nightwing i'm on the fence on this thing don't know if i want to take it out of the box or leave it sealed i guess it depends on if i start seeing them show up in stores and how readily they are to get another one in case i want one in the box but look at that thing let's get it up close not the glare on the screen if I can. But it looks great. Very detailed. This looks awesome. Hopefully the regular 7-inch figure looks good. And hey, look here. Making your YouTube debut. Maggie jumped up here. This is my 17-year-old cat. Also checking out the Dark Flash. And hey, you want to look at Hush? Hush Batman? Okay, she's being bashful. But anyways, that is all we picked up online from Target. eBay and then the physical Target store today. But... If you're a first-time viewer or a returning viewer who has yet to hit subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. Maggie, have you subscribed to the channel? Okay, she's turned her back. She's bored. Anyways, that's all we got for tonight. I will see you on the next one.